So welcome back to day two of this tile for this week. Today is Tuesday or whatever day it is you're watching this recording, it doesn't matter. And we're going to start with our pen. You can pick up your fine pen and we're going to focus on this side right here. Now take a look at this curved line and let's give that an aura. So take a nice deep breath in and out as we start our Zen Tangle practice today. And let's go over that line in pen, the one that we drew in pencil. Let's go right over that nice and slow and relaxed with our pen. And now we're going to do this again. And we're going to give it, give a nice big space here. And let's draw another arc shape with our pen from edge to edge of this section, giving that a nice tight aura, very relaxed, letting everything go. The only thing we're thinking about is what we're drawing. And we're going to do that again, leave another big space because obviously we're going to be doing something in here. So we want to leave lots of room for that. So another art, again, it doesn't have, it's not going to look like mine. Doesn't matter how it looks, let go of what it looks like and just draw a few more in here. Give some nice space. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side, right? We can trace over that pencil. Give it a nice thin aura. And then we'll go up and do the same thing. Leaving some space. This looks like it's lined up here, which is kind of cool, but it doesn't have to be at all. I did not think about that. I did not plan that. I'm just kind of eyeing this over here, just paying attention to my, the right side where I just want to put in another arc. So nothing ever has to be even or exact or matching up. And we're really relaxed. Our minds are clear. And we're going nice and slow. There we go. So the next step and since I'm right-handed, if you're left-handed, you might want to start on this side, but actually I'm going to start on this side so I can show you. I'll, it'll be easier for me to demonstrate this pattern. Excuse me. Now, we're not going to do anything in these corners. Leave those corners white blank, all right? We're starting above this line. So we're going to make Look, shoot for the middle of this line and give it like a petal shape coming around and down. Just like an old petal. Again, doesn't have to look like mine and hopefully yours won't look like this because that was a little bit fatter than I wanted. So then I'm going to draw another one on the other side. And I'm tracing along this the same, the side of the petal coming up and around, hitting the top edge and the sides. Now, if yours are, and I'm just gonna keep doing that, yours might be smaller, bigger, doesn't matter how many petals you fit in here, just see how many you can fit in. Net nuts. Now there's a lot more we're going to do with it. So don't worry about what it looks like or, you know, every, whatever you drew is perfectly fabulous. And we're going to do this in each section. So let's move on to the left side now. I'm going to turn my tile just a little bit to, because this is kind of a steep arc. Yours might not be that steep. So I'm just going to kind of just start, find that middle and just kind of go up. to that top edge. I might even turn it a little bit more 
And then again, trace along and come out. And we're going to keep doing that. You can either alternate from side to side or pick one side first. But that's all we're going to do. Start in the middle of each section. And then you can either trace along or just kind of start out here and do another one. However you want to draw these is fine. Nice and relaxed. Paying attention to each time you draw that shape. Now, if you're wondering right now, oh, I'm, I'm wondering, should I be doing it this way or that way? Yes, the answer is whatever feels right to you. Every pattern just gives you an idea, a suggestion, and then whatever you do with it, you do with it. The Untangle is all about not having to think about anything not trying for perfection, just being totally relaxed and taking the pattern and making it your own without trying. Accepting whatever you end up drawing I'm going to turn your tile to get a nice, comfortable angle. And now we're going to give, there's a few more steps to this pattern, but the next step is we're going to give each one of these petals an aura. So even if your petals are really uh, skinny and it's hard to fit one of these in, you can just draw a thick line if they're really thin. But I have a feeling you'll be okay. So what we're doing is we're drawing these auras and then coloring inside. Now, it can be a pretty big aura. So if you just want like kind of like a little thin aura to color in, that is fine. Doesn't really matter. And you do this for all of them. And what I might do, since this is going to take a little while, I think I'm going to show you the second part of this pattern tomorrow.
And the second part of this pattern really, in my opinion, makes the whole pattern. It will kind of transform the look of it. For those of you who are new, on Friday or the fifth day is when we shade. We use our pencil and our tortillon and we shade the whole thing and we really make it pop, transforms. So right now, all we have, to, all we're thinking about is drawing these little auras, almost like just another little petal inside and coloring them in. And I will give you the name of this pattern in just a minute. So this pattern is called Kook. Kook. It's kind of a variation of Kook, but it's uh, it's good enough. I wonder, it might be called kooky. <laughs> Maybe that's just how they spelled it. A lot of these Zentangle pattern names, uh, most of them are just made up words, and so it's hard to pronounce some of them. Sometimes we don't get the correct pronunciations. But So this is either kook or kooky. Both means the same thing. And when you're done today, I would really appreciate you giving a thumbs up to the video. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel. And make sure that you just keep relaxing and you keep this feeling going all day. You can tangle longer than 10 minutes. You can tangle uh, for a few minutes throughout the day, periodically. But right now, just feel, feel totally relaxed. Focus on being in the present moment. Pay attention to what you're doing not thinking about it, just watching how the pen is just kind of moving on its own. Your inner artist is guiding that pen, just let it go. Okay. And so tomorrow, we are going to really spruce this up. I can't wait. So have a wonderful day, and we'll see you tomorrow.